Before this video starts I know there are going to be people in the comments saying how me using text to speech isn't sincere but trust me I am being as sincere as I can. So, to start off this response, I want to apologize for my actions, I am mostly sorry to C but also to the community. Instead of reacting to all of C's video on me and responding, I am only going to pick out parts that I can respond to. This is because most of the stuff in the video about me is true. But I will do my best to quote unquote defend myself as much as possible to actually make it a response video instead of submitting to his claims, which I do because they are true. And before people ask, I already apologize to C on Discord, and I'm not saying this to make it look like I'm the good guy now, I'm saying this because a lot of people were unaware of my apology, thinking that I never apologized and was still attacking C after the rant. Now, onto the rant. Mr Freckles is a channel that makes layout videos, extreme clickbait videos and generally attempts to ride off hype trends of popular things so to get attention. I noticed how you took a screenshot when a lot of my clickbait videos were uploaded close together, making it look like all my videos are clickbait when in reality this is not true. Next you say that I ride off hype trends to gain popularity which in reality 6 out of 636 of my videos were hype trend induced but yes, I can see your point and it is valid against me. What sets Mr. Freckles apart from everyone else? Well, I'll tell you what, he's incredibly edgy. Thanks for calling me edgy. I think layouts are some of the laziest content in the community, but not actually when creators like Nobleboy and Tactic preview layouts for levels that they will actually finish. Some of my layouts like I have said have had plans to be finished, I just never really got to them until now, so I can see why you would think that. I brought this inactivity to finish things upon myself by making more layouts. But, Notice how I said some of my layouts had plans to be finished. Yes a large portion of my layouts will never be decoded like the This Is America layout and more and were solely for views. And probably the one I hate most of all, This Is America layout by the man, the myth and the legend himself. See I've known you've always hated this layout, and I have too, if I may be honest. Having this represent my channel makes me sad because it was a layout that I put the least effort into. And as of now the video will be private, and if nothing happens, like it never becomes a level or I can't find a team to finish it, it will be deleted. These kinds of levels take less than half an hour to make because all you have to do is put in portal changes and just follow the trail and fill in the gaps with the default block design. Now, I've also always disagreed with this, half an hour to make a layout phrase. Like yes, for the This Is a Miracle layout it would have taken half an hour, but the layouts that I put a lot of effort into and want to be actual levels in the future take me about one week to two weeks depending on the circumstances. Is it because I'm a slow builder? Maybe. But just know that I take time to make the ones I actually enjoy and like. His channel features dozens of layouts scrounging off of popular songs in the title. Actually a lot of my layouts, well most of them use meme songs, because I am a meme guy. It's just that the This Is America layout kinda ruined it for all the other layouts. In fact, one of my layouts used a song by a very unknown artist who I thought should deserve more praise so I used their song and linked the channel in the description, and looking back they have gained popularity. Now I know by me saying this it's just like bragging about charity, it ruins it, but I felt like I needed to say this to defend myself. If you had a view to turn this song into an actual amazing level like End Level used to with some of his creations using popular songs then I'd have no issue with it. In fact I'd even support it because it adds diversity to the game. The main catch is someone else's work so we can stick it in the title and count the money. Like I said before, I did have a view to turn some of them into an actual level, I was just very lazy. I found it was easier to just keep making layouts than make progress. And to touch on another quick matter, about 50% of my layouts are copyrighted so how could I sit there and count the non-existent money I am supposedly making, if anything I am supporting the creator with my revenue, intentionally or not. Freckles would know all about this too, as he's no stranger to criticizing content he deems to be below his. Now let me try to explain this comment as best as possible. While Ozar was getting hate and everyone was shitting on him I thought I would throw a comment in there to go along with the hate, I didn't expect for people to actually see the comment because it was kinda like a bunch of people calling someone out and then me adding to it to go along with them, like going along with the crowd's opinion and agreeing with them. But when the comment got some attention I was like oh shit, I have nothing to back this up, so I hope I cleared this up. It was just me shitting on him with the crowd and I wasn't being 100% serious. My particular favorite tweet was this one, where he accuses me of shit-talking him behind his back. Now about this tweet. I don't know what I was thinking when I tweeted the shit-talking behind my back part. It makes me look like a retard. It was maybe because I was having a bad day or something and I get messages on my Discord saying that see it shit-talking you on Twitter. But again, this tweet is retarded and only added to the fire. I commented on his This Is America video and called it shit. 
And although I thought I was banned from commenting on his channel at first, it turns out that he just deleted the comment. I've already explained this to you once see, I didn't delete your comment or block you from my channel. I don't know what happened to your comment, it might have been one of my mods but like I said I never touched your comment. I know this makes me look really bad but I seriously didn't do anything to your comment, but also I have nothing to prove this so, I don't know what to do. Just take my word. He claims that he doesn't want to start beef with anyone, and that he's doing it for fun, and that he's trying not to create drama. So if all this is true, why the hell did he make this video? Okay let me also try to explain this retarded tweet. I already can see people calling me out for lying about this but, in all honesty, I said I didn't want to start beef because I knew that if I started shit with C I would inevitably get shit on, because C I must say, you make good responses. Now I know everyone is wondering, well if you didn't want to start shit, why did you? This is because I realized that I should defend my channel, take action, or try to do something, as you can see in my tweets. But alas I let it go. Then I got the idea to sort of poke a bear with a stick as someone said it. I started annoying C and making Mimi responses to his community posts to get back at him for the stuff he said. But then I got an idea in a discord call that I should sort of meme the situation by making a layout to his diss track. To me personally, I thought it was pretty funny and a lot of other people thought that too. But looking back now, all the stuff that I did and said to him that led up to the layout ruined the chances of it ever being a joke. Maybe it would have been funny if I didn't harass him or make a bad name for myself first, but I will never know. And there were actually people suggesting that he should counter copyright strike me, showing clear as daylight that his fans have absolutely no idea how copyright striking works. See, it's a meme. This is a meme that everyone except you knew about as you found out in the comments of your video. So instead of insulting my fans' knowledge, who mind you have done nothing wrong, get cultured in memes. Saying that he was targeted for using my content. Well, I hate to make you feel any less special, Freckles, but if someone stole my video and used it to swipe me in a way that was in breach of the terms of service, I'd do exactly the same thing. But see this is my point, you are saying I broke the rules yet other people have done the same and I get striked, can you see at least my argument here? Now I will remind you that I have already realized how awful I've acted towards him and right now I can see why he took the video down. But going back to two weeks ago, I was pretty pissed off when other people used your content, breaking the rules, and only I get striked. That is why I was saying that I was targeted. He quite literally just ripped my song to put on his own video. No attempt was made to be clever or creative. How can I be clever or creative? I was creative with the level, well as much as I could be for the sake of a trash layout. But even if I altered the song or was clever as you said, you would have called me out for trying to avoid a strike by being creative with your song, so either way in this situation I lose. I could show you just how often he comes to my channel to try and take shots at me. So 201 people thought this was funny, your own fans, yes obviously it was taking a shot at you but come on man. Over half of his tweets are about me. Yes half of my tweets are about you because... I made a Twitter to respond to your comments. Especially when he claims that he takes months making his layouts, even despite the fact that he uploads loads of these. Actually I've uploaded about 23 in total out of 636 videos over the course of about 3 to 4 years, so how is that loads of layouts? I don't think all your content is bad either. You're a decent player and you're good at editing and making thumbnails. Oh man you are gonna make me cry. And next time you want to write a paste bin the size of a Shakespeare play about me, in your own words, don't bitch behind my back, send it to me on Discord. How is writing something and putting it in the description for you to see because I don't have your Discord bitching behind your back, it was like literally there for you to see. Now that the rant is over I want to respond to some comments. Moosh stated that, in Discord he was saying how he handled your criticism by making the video, and kind of flexing the fact he made a shitty layout from it. First of all I never said I handled the criticism, I have the screenshot of our conversation right here. I said this is how I respond to criticism, not handle it. Do you see how criticism is all spaced to look weird? This is because I meant that this was my shitty way of responding to criticism showing that I don't respond well in that I made a shitty layout from it. I'm not going to go into my shell and start to prove him wrong. I am agreeing with his claims and I am fixing everything I did wrong to try to make the situation better. Next on my video I stated that I removed the layout because I realized how much of a douche I was and was respecting what C wanted, which was the video taken down. But in the comments people have created a double standard for me. They don't want me to keep the video up, but when I take it down I am just doing it to stop hate. So in either scenario I am the bad guy. So to all the people that think I was just trying to avoid hate, it was a video meant to not be serious and to annoy C, why would I care how much hate it got, I would actually expect it to get hate, so that doesn't make any sense for me to take it down for hate. 
and you have to remember, I don't give a shit what you want, I only care what C wants because this is between me and him, and I am trying to fix things between us, so I'm not gonna let someone in the comments sway what I should do to better the situation. Most of the people who are defending me for taking the video down and respecting C are not a part of my fan base so I don't want people to think my fans are trying to all rally and defend me in this situation to praise me and make me look like the good guy. Next I was getting shit for hearting comments like, it's a basic function of YouTube, I heart the comments that are nice, meme or are just random, but no, I guess I can't do that anymore because people say I'm abusing it to show that I have more supporters than I do, fucking ridiculous. Then there are these people who make dumbass comments like this. Like are you serious, you are making a death threat because I stole someone's song, what is this North Korea? To wrap this section up, there are people who are critiquing every little thing I do now, so apparently I can't use caps in my title, I can't make a thumbnail with the text too large, I can't have ads on my videos, and then there are people who want my channel taken down for no reason. Anyway, I'll do what I usually do with people like this and just ignore them and let them feel like they are right. To conclude this annoyingly long response, C made me out to be worse than I actually am. But is he valid in saying so? Yes. I was a complete dickhead to him over the course of a month. So he is perfectly right in saying that I am a horrible person. But I mainly want the people in the community that witnessed this drama to know that I'm not a horrible person out to get everyone. I just let this blow completely out of proportion and harassed someone and made a bad name for myself. I hope I can clear my infamacy in the community since C's rant. I am trying to take all the steps to make the situation better for C mainly because he is the one I've been harassing. And I feel really bad. I can already see people in the comments starting up the same bullshit about how I am just doing this to stop hate. No, I am doing this because I genuinely feel sorry for my actions and I want to make the situation better. So, as a part of me turning a new leaf, there will be no more layouts. The only exception is if it is a level that I already have a team to finish it and make it an actual level. I've been thinking about stopping making layouts for a long time and C's rant only convinced me further to decide to stop. This next part was taken from my Discord conversation with C. Now on the topic of me making clickbait slash filler videos. If I can be honest, I love making funny edited videos like, how to make a generic modern level or just in general videos I enjoy to make. But I can't make those videos every day, it's too hard, it takes a lot of time and I sometimes don't have any ideas. I wanted to keep up with the YouTube algorithm with daily uploading so my channel wouldn't die. That's why I could take like a regular featured level and make it clickbait because I honestly saw no point in uploading a level 200 other people already uploaded. So, I had to make it quote unquote special and clickbaity to hold my viewers attention while I worked on something I liked. And sometimes like I said, I really didn't have any ideas, so the clickbait just piled on and on, I'm not talking about my layouts, just my regular videos. And before I knew it, that was my entire channel, clickbait, with some videos I was actually proud of, but mostly clickbait. And reflecting on it after your video, I'm kind of disappointed what I have done with my channel and my place in this community. I'm going to try and finish as many layouts as I can to make up for this, starting with Moonlight. And I am no longer going to continue with my clickbait trash content. Once again, I am sorry for all the things I've done and thank you C for making me realize that I need to change. I am sorry that this whole response was in text to speech but I am very busy with school and have no time to record a 3000 word response. So I hope you understand. Lastly I want to say sorry to C and the community, no drama like this will ever happen from me again, and I will work to improve my content. See you all later. Bye.